hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i will briefly discuss about stationary wave in stretch string first of all we will consider that when a rope is connected with two fixed point so when a force is applied to plug it so a um, wave from left to right is produced after plucking so this wave when striking to the next end or next fixed point it will go back to the uh, right to left and it is known as a stationary wave this stationary wave can be uh, considered as a, a wave in which uh, crust and trough are produced in the same region above and below so this the length of the uh, string is known as l and the distance covered in the form of wave or wave motion is known as lambda by 2 because it is a half wavelength so I am trying to make a complete wavelength in which this wavelength is lambda, a complete wave. So we are considering or we are dealing with only half, it will be L is equal to lambda by 2 because this L is the length of the rope or string. So from this we can consider that the lambda is equal to 2L or it is a first mode. In this in this mode or it is a one mode 1, it, it is... It is uh, we will consider that L is equal to lambda 1 over 2 or lambda 1 is equal to 2 L so from this from this we will use it in the next form uh, here where we will also discuss with uh, V is equal to F lambda in the wave motion with having the frequency and uh, velocity and wavelength so this is known as frequency and lambda is known as wavelength so uh, if we are dealing with mode 1 it will be velocity 1 velocity is equal to uh, frequency 1 and lambda 1 for this so we know the formula in the wave motion about the frequency about the velocity is equal to f over m square root this f is known as tension or stretching and m is the mass of the string so we are dealing with half of the wavelength or half of the wave so uh, it will be considered as the mass of the, the string this small m is known as mass of the string so we will put this value in this expression in order to calculate the final expression in the form of frequency so and velocity so f1 is equal to v over lambda 1 so we know the value of v and we also know the value of lambda 1 in this expression so we will put the value we will know the value of frequency in the mode 1 so uh, velocity is equal to f over m square root over the value of lambda and can be put in the form of 2L so it will be 1 over 2L into F over M square root if we simplify it for our convenience I will sep I have separated all the terms so this is known as expression 1 F1 is equal to 1 over 2L F over M so we will also deal with a uh, rope or a case in which two uh, waves are produced two plucking are produced in which one complete wave is generated after plucking from this point uh, uh, one complete wave is produced and after uh, uh, striking on the fixed point and a back wave produced which is in and, and complete scenario is known as stationary wave having two loops or two modes so in this case L of uh, string length of string is L and if it is equal to lambda because it is complete wave and these two fixed point and central point is known as nodes and this is uh, peak point of the wave is known as anti nodes so in this uh, figure there are three nodes and two anti nodes you can keep in mind uh, for your entry test question and exam question so this is two loop a wave so l is equal to lambda l is equal to lambda 2 and v, v, v is equal to f2 and lambda 2 so from this expression we also know the value of velocity velocity is equal to f over m square root it is already known due to wave motion and value of lambda 2 is also given which is l so we will put this expression in order to calculate the value of frequency 2 in the uh, region 2 or for 2 loop frequency frequency for the 2 loop wave so f2 is equal to uh, v over lambda 2 so value of v is given and value of lambda 2 is also given we will put here and we'll, we will all find the value of f2 in this expression so f2 is equal to f over m square root divided by lambda 2 value of lambda 2 is value of l 
so we will replace by a lambda 2 by l so it will be 1 over l into f over m so previously f1 was 1 over 2 l f over m and f2 is equal to 1 over l f over m there is a big difference between the value of f1 and f2 so we will find out the relationship between the value of f1 and value of f2 in this expression uh, as you see that f1 is equal to 1 over 2 l f over m and f2 is equal to 1 over l into f over m square root so we will find out the relationship between these two f1 and f2 in order to understand this we will compare that because some of the term 1 over l into f over m is common in these two terms only 1 over 2 is separate term so we will separate it f1 is equal to 1 over 2 into 1 over l into f over m square root so 1 over l into f over m is a value of f2 we will replace it frequency of the two loop so f1 is equal to 1 over 2 into f2 it means that from this expression uh, frequency of the one loop is half of frequency of two loop which is shown in the figures so f2 is equal to 2 into f1 it means that the uh, two loop frequency is equal to double of the single loop frequency or primary loop frequency or primary resonant frequency so uh, furthermore we will justify that and we will uh, finalize that f3 may be is, is equal to 3 into f1 and f4 is equal to 4 into f1 and so on and fn for the n loop is equal to n f1 this is a final expression for the wave in the stretch stream stationary wave in the stretch string up till now i have finished about the uh, frequency and we have seen the frequency behavior of the in the stretch string of stationary wave we will finish here if you have any question you can contact me at my email address which is shown here and uh, please comment and please subscribe our channel see you soon bye bye